Good afternoon ladies and gents and welcome back to the channel. So a very exciting day today. We have just been to the lock up to retrieve some gear and today is the day we pick our pups up, our dogs, they're coming to the caravan so I'm very excited about that. We are nipping into um, b and now for a few bits. Hold on. Jason, can't find the coat. She's lost a coat, she's got a sleepless coat on that. Um, sorry, what else is it? We need a bed. Oh yeah. And the babies. So we're nipping in there now to get a dog bed for the dogs and then Asda for some food and we're going to uh, cook the meal in a bit in the caravan so join us, see you soon, bye bye. So first up we've already bought some of these because there's bound to be some accidents in the caravan to start. Uh, pick up a pack of these. So guys, Halloween is upon us, literally on our doorstep and the missus has just tried to talk me into picking up a matching pair of pyjamas for a Halloween special. That's not happening. And I have been telling her all year to take a mask off and she won't do it. <gasps> oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I think we can put some of that in the van. Oh, Make it all autumn. I actually love that. What is it? Soup. Pop. Oh, cool. So the world is literally mad. We've got Halloween down this aisle and on this aisle we've got Christmas already in stock on the shelves at Home Bargains. Absolutely bonkers. Should we go get a Halloween scary mask and put it on Santa Claus? Yeah. <laughs> Babe, if you're thinking of decorating the van this year, I think one bauble. Yeah, that's all we've got room for. Yeah, that's it, and we'll just hang it in the window. <laughs> <laughs> we are actually looking for a Christmas tree, um, and even that is going to be two. That's two metres. Yeah, it's two metres. That's... We're looking for something about this big for the window to go with the bauble. So we have found our potential new Christmas tree guys and it is going to be a repurposed toilet brush and you get three for the price of 4 99 which isn't bad at all. But one thing we won't have to stock up on this year darling is um, Christmas wrapping paper because after every Christmas you hit every shop and buy every roll for 50p or less. I've literally got about 100 of them at work. Do anyone else's wives do that? I'm pretty sure they <laughs> Right so we've both just been <laughs> laughing. We look like absolute plonkers walking mm -hmm. around the shops with a camera like this, just talking. Because, um, as you know, this is primarily a bushcraft channel, and I usually do my videos in solidarity with um, in the woods with my camera. So, obviously, we want to accommodate all of you awesome folks that have come along to the channel and subscribed. But um, we need to know if this is the sort of thing you actually want to see, or do you just want short updates in the caravan? Because that would be much more suitable for us. And we wouldn't be walking around cringing like uh, <laughs> uh Um you are still doing that video tomorrow, aren't you? Yeah, I've got a video for the bushcraft side of things tomorrow, but um just just let us know, just give us a nod and let us know if you want to start seeing regular updates and vlogs um on the channel, let us know that so I can mix that in with the regular content because obviously I've got my um, very loyal subscribers who have who has helped us out to this point, as you know. Um and I don't want to leave them stranded in the dust mm. with no material for them. So that won't happen, I'll make sure. But just let me know and the missus know what you want to see on the channel. So thank you very much. And now over to B&M's for a dog bed. Let's crack on. You have to get out of here to get to B&M's. Oh, bugger me sideways. Well. You could just not be lazy and we could park up there and walk over. I've not said I'm not being lazy, I said you could walk, drive over. I said walk from home bargains babe. and you told me where to get off. Babe. What? Enough. That's going on. No, it isn't. You being nasty to me, here it is. You heard that. <laughs> you was the one raising your voice at me. And how was I supposed to walk there? I'll let you off. I'm not getting much from there, are we? Just a bed. So the hunt continues for a dog bed. Oh, there's some. What about uh, just a cushion? I think because the lights are just going to be in there, so if you don't know. Well, what about? Oh no, that's horrible material. 30 bleeding quid. What about a couple of cushions thrown on the floor? That's cute. Yeah, the price isn't. I know, I know. That's ridiculous, babe. They're going to be on the bed and they're going to be on the chairs. We're trying not getting on the bed, is what I'm, what I'm trying Try to do. not to spend bleeding money either. Are they both going to fit in that? So we've got a choice out of 20 quid, which is just a cushion, or we've got a choice of 30 pounds, but should get them both in, snug, especially in the winter. Yeah. Mm. 
Do you know what? I'm always treating my missus. Always. I treat it to food. I treat it to love. I treat it to hugs. Anyway, just say yeah. Yeah. So I mean, so, totally abusing. So now we're on to dog bowls. And the missus thinks this is adorable. I didn't even look at that. But I think this is one pound each. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you agree, darling? Look at them. No, that is that tough, robust plastic. <laughs> so this is another 30 square centimetres of space we've lost in the caravan now. <laughs> That's my shoes out. Good friend to Paul. <laughs> in his uh, superhero jammers. We've just called round to drop his carpet washer off that he uh, so kindly lent us to do the caravan carpet and we have been kidnapped for tea now so we're on some lovely steamed veg and uh, a lamb dinner so thank you very much saves us cooking or saves a missus cooking anyway all those maroons set up here lovely tank so it's gravy and we're having a lamb that identifies as a beef <laughs> See, these are true friends. We only came to uh, drop off a washer, and we've been invited for a full um, yeah, full Sunday dinner. Like and we well, used all the shampoo for the washer. Sometimes I do more. <laughs> I'll have some of this. Right. I never got nothing, did I? And he fucking whacked all of that. Sat down, is that why I sat down? It's like a bloody American, uh, American meal, this, where you help yourself to everything. And then everyone starts fighting because there's never enough. Special um, beef lamb oh, gravy. That was well, nice that part. <laughs> Minted lamb gravy. Drop it all over the table. Thank you very much, Paul. Right. And Kelly for the invite. Yeah. Oh, there's one. There you go. <laughs> So, there's the pups. You got Winston, Jack Russell, and Bonnie, the pain in the ass. Oh, no, it's a good idea. We did want to take them uh, yesterday when we left Paul's, but we left it a bit late. And to be fair, we haven't got the pitch yet for the caravan. The caravan will be moved at the end of this week uh, to the gravel pitch, and it'll make it much more manageable for me to move the caravan. Um, and not have the dogs there uh, being a pain so. in the backside. And Janine will be at work, so she won't be able to help me. So. Brilliant pro that I'm going to do. Are you ready? <laughs> that was awesome, I'll just rip it apart, thanks, Dad. Ready? <laughs> Not as much as mine, you are right. <clears throat> oh. oh, I can't wait. My babies. I need a shot, babe, because as you can see, I'm wasting away. <laughs> we'll get something in a bit. Let's have a bit of a time with these. So, taking dogs out for a walk for a little bit, and then we're going to get back to the caravan. The miss is going to do some washing, because we're in dying need clean clothes. And then she's going to cook up a uh, storm in the kitchen. Not Walking really outside. necessarily a storm. Babe, just a chicken casserole. Chicken casserole with raw taters and uh, Yorkshire puds. So, Easy stay tuned. Just bought these to eat. It says a lot when the bleeding dogs won't eat them. Yeah. No, oh, you'll have it. Oh, we're dropping them off. Right, we're off back to the caravan. Oh! <laughs> Come on, don't be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Chicken's lush. What are we on tonight? Chicken casserole and um, roast these frozen ones because, you know. Jubbly, jubbly. Well, if you need me, I'll be in the uh, parlour. <laughs> All the way over there. All the way over there. <laughs> bit too far away that day. What? <laughs> this is absolutely perfect size for us. There's a lot of roasters there. I'm hungry, so I'll eat. So I'm just going to fry some chicken in a pan. We can add some seasoning. I'm going to add some dried chives. Just a sprinkle on every piece, a little bit of paprika, just any, this is not smoked, this is just normal. Get it for everything now. So just one last turn, you can still see it's still a bit pink but it is going to cook better than the oven. This is just to give the chicken a bit of flavour literally. That'll be nice, cool revival there. And so I'm going to put just a chicken in this now. There's quite a lot of chicken there isn't there just for two but... I know it probably doesn't look very appetising at the minute, but it will be nice. And then I'm just going to literally put all that in as well, just because it's like extra flavour. In there, and just whisk it, don't mind my whisk, that's actually broken. You can actually get cheaper ones of these that are just as nice, I think they're about 49p. But I only got them because I needed a few and they were four for two pounds. So I just I just got those ones because we were on offer. But I'd, normally I wouldn't. I'd, I'd just buy whatever's on offer, to be fair. Um, I have just added some um, <clears throat> chicken gravy. Again, you don't have to use that one. I bought it because it was on special offer. Um, just any chicken gravy or beef, whatever, whatever gravy you want. It's literally just to make the sauce a little bit, go a bit longer, that go a bit more. Spread out a little bit more, sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I hate it. The anxiety is... Oh my god, I feel sick. You're doing well, darling. Please don't cry into my castle. <laughs> I don't feel like crying. I'm not gonna <laughs> There's enough salt in there as it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just going to pour that over the chicken. That with roast potatoes and Yorkshire And puddings. broccoli we're having and as well, because I needed to use it. Because there's a lot of food there, isn't there? Right, okay. To be fair, I can freeze some as well. in there now um i would say for about 30 minutes so whenever the potatoes are done which will be about 30 minutes cool so ladies and gents while we're waiting for that delicious meal to cook um, a lot of you have been asking for an update on jago the young lad that was homeless on here last week it was when he left on it mm -hmm. so jago has been gone for over a week now and the good news is he's actually found a house share He's got the biggest room in the house. It's costing him £450 a month. Um, is that, did he say everything in? Gas and electric. Gas and electric. Shared bathroom and kitchen downstairs. But yeah, Jago's found his feet. He's also got a job now. And we see him in the chippy every time we pass. Uh, we've not spoken to him since he left. But he did get a few days sofa surfing until he found his deposit for the house. So, happy ending for Jago. 
on another positive note, um, I was contacted by a gent who commented on one of the videos um, called Chris. And Chris has actually got a replacement fridge for the freeway fridge that's in the caravan currently. It doesn't work. Um, he's on holiday until the 30th and then we're going to meet up. Um, and he's very, very kindly donated me a fridge that hopefully will just fit right in its place. So that's the fridge situation. Fingers crossed, sorted. I'm settling in. Um, like I say, this... The tank life or the caravan life I could do tomorrow, but um, Janine is far removed from her family now. That's, that's the worst thing that's, you know, killing her. We did have uh, the niece and nephew up last week and made yeah. full use of all the bedding yeah. um, and the bunk bedding stuff in the caravan, so she really loved that, but she is still having trouble sleeping at night. Um, and she does have a moment, you know, she can't hear me where I'm looking at her and she just phased out. She just non complus mentis so hopefully in time that will ease especially since we're both on the uh, happy pills so <laughs> <laughs> but it's not a laughing matter it's you know if you don't laugh about it you cry don't you but um oh yeah it's just you're still adjusting I think I'd, it's not even the caravan i actually do love the caravan and um, it's just i think just ev everything in general like how it happened and just, just in general, like the, mm -hmm. like my family, I, I, you know, as as much as I'm far away from them, I know, I know. Oh, man, it's just. But on top of all that, the worst thing is she's got no storage. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that is pretty much um, breaking her spirit. Anyway. <clears throat> but I say, good time. It's just, yeah, it's just a bit stressful. I need to get used to it, don't I? Yeah, we still got the car full of stuff. Um, We've got a lot to take to storage still. Well, look where we are and from I'm, where we were. And uh, yeah, exactly. I'm a lot happier. I'm a lot more settled here, 100%. And um, it's just a very difficult situation. Oh, that is just sublime. Cooked in the caravan oven. Oh, you do it every time, darling. <laughs> Who else is coming for tea? <laughs> no. I'm not complaining. Yeah, that'll do. Is that mine? Yeah. Yeah, that'll do me, darling. Thank you very much. We are foregoing the um, Yorkshire Buds because there is way too much food here. This is the healthy option. A bit of broccoli. Is that two a piece? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Bon appetit, darling. Thank you very much for this. You're welcome. And that's pretty much it for the video, ladies and gents. So I hope you've enjoyed. Um, next one will be here soon if we've got anything to report. Mm -hmm. No. But until the next one, see you soon. Bye. <laughs>